Hello everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can rig a wing, which in this case is a demon wing, uh, with a free script that is provided in the description. And the script is basically an orient constraint with a multiplier. So first I will show you how the script is working. So you select the first object and second object and apply the script. And on the second object, you will have the connection to the first object. And if you rotate that, uh, the first object or the source object, the second object is rotating. But you can also, you can say how much rotation on X, on X or Y or Z axis should be applied separately. There is a thing that you need to know. Rotation is different than translation regarding when it comes to constraints or multiply, um, applying it in general. It's kind of tricky. If you want to connect two rotation, rotation of two objects and you expect them to behave kind of uh, predictable, you want to make sure that those objects have the same attributes. Either they are joints or objects. In joints also the, the um, orientation axis kind of matter for rotation. So later in Unreal when you send it to Unreal, it matters. So the best way to make sure that everything works as expected is to duplicate the object that you want to connect the rotation. So if I want to connect a random joint, I mean, if it has come from somewhere else, the best bet would be to just duplicate it. And in this way, I, I make sure that they have the same attributes so I can rotate, I, um, I can apply the constraint to them. All right, now with that introduction, let's go into the rigging stuff. So, um, I downloaded this model from TurboScript. It's a free model. The topology is not good. So we are basically are not able to skin it properly because in order to skin, you need to have a good topology. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you how we can basically rig it and expect the same thing, uh, rig, rig the wing with two controllers and later in Unreal, you can use the controllers just to animate the wing with two controllers or three controllers. So first, well, I'm, I'm going to make the controllers. This is the create join tool and I make sure that I can see the joint by clicking this icon and I'm going to start to make the joints. So these are the main joints that I want to be my controller. Okay, we have three controllers, one, two, three. And actually let's make them a little bit visible by select hierarchy basically selecting all selecting all of the joints right and increasing radius so we can see them better now because i can just make the new joints and it would be the same it is exactly the same with the same attributes um when i'm creating creating them by default attributes I really don't need to duplicate the joint, but if the joint is coming from uh, somewhere else, it's it's best to duplicate it rather than creating new one and positioning. But in this case, I just can create them. So actually, let's attach this joint to this vertex so we can just use um, vertex vertex snap easily to create new joints okay i'm going to create new joint clicking on this to make a new joint 
and by press by pressing v uh, by pressing v key i can enable the vertex snap and i can make a new joint here so i'm going to make the new joint for this area pressing g key to repeat the same tool which is joint creating so because i don't want to continue uh, same chain so i want to make a new one i press g so again press v and making new join and the let's actually put this here g again so i have a new join and make this g again and here i'm going to make the last one here so it is almost ready now i want to control the whole wing with with, with these three controllers and i'm going to use the constraints so first i select the main joint the driver joint and select the driven joint and apply the constraint for the second one apply for the third one apply now they are rotating with the rotation of <clears throat> the uh, main joint but i want to apply some sort of um multiplier So first multiplier would be multiply y and I'm going to try to I'm trying to close the wing and the first one I guess for my y multiplier I choose to use um, 0 0.9 the third one I'm using, let's say 0 0.8 and the third one 0 0.7, but um, I can see that's not a good value. So I want it to be less than 0 0.7 and I'm going to manually adjust it. Now it seems to be a good starting point. I'm going to check it if it's really good. Actually, let's um, before going further, this is um, our controller joint, and these are the joints that are supposed to be supposed to be the driven. And I'm going to connect the con the um, I'm going to connect the driven joints. To the controller because we actually having the effect of the parent we need to change the um, multiplication a little bit so it's better to actually apply them before you connect the, the driven joints to the driver joints before applying multiplier but anyway I can adjust them again to make sure that the proper multipl the multiplication is applied. So let's see. And we're going to adjust the multiplication. And yeah, it looks okay now. Or for matter of fact, I can actually I, I increase the multiplication for this one, which I think it's a good thing, yeah. For that one, it's one little bit more than all right. Looks good. Looks good. So for the closing part, we have a little bit of problem here. 
for the second chain of uh, joints and this is the first chain this is the second chain I want to have some multiplier on these two so I'm going to act, uh, assign multiplier on each of them so by default they are one and this is not what we want Oops. first and second first and second okay so this is probably not exactly what we want and we are going to reduce the multiplier a little bit and for this one it should be a little bit different because it's the middle one no it's the last one actually um this one is the middle one i guess this is good so looks good i think Oh, this one is not exactly uh -huh. so let's see if they are working the same way that yeah all right so we are done with the uh, why access and now we are going to actually take care of this joint and again first it's better to connect them before applying multiply because it would be a waste of time so so i would i want to apply some multiplier here and first select this one and the second one apply and right now it's multiplied and i can say for y axis i want to be yes that is exactly what i want all right it's almost ready now for the other axis for example x-axis if i apply the multiply as you can see it's kind of uh, reverse this is not exactly what is desirable so let's actually assign let's actually separate this and assign this to an to a mesh so we can see them better the mesh and I'm going to assign it and if I rotate this on, on the x-axis and the x-axis as you can see this is not exactly what we want so I'm going first disable the multiplier for other axis for this one and also now for the x1 i guess we don't need any multiplier it's okay but for the z1 we should have some multiplier so for the x1 we don't need multiplier and for z I'm going to apply some this is Y which is working okay for Z which is this axis we want to have some sort of multiplier and let's actually increase them I think it's okay one point Mm 
Okay. Let's go to object mode so we can freely move them. I think this one is also needs to be controlled by this one, by this controller. So I'm going to break the connection and make a new one to be controlled by this one. So first let's use one. Hmm, that's much better. Because we don't have this kind of motion for a wing, it's only opening and closing, and we have this kind of motion when it's winging or flapping. But for when it's flapping, I guess here is a problem. We need to, I guess, it's only y-axis that we need because we don't want this one to move in any way when it's flapping or maybe just on the z-axis just a little bit half and maybe on x-axis in this case and half an x-axis no x-axis is not what we want yeah it's okay i think it's good for flapping This is closing, opening, and then flapping. I think X axis is needed here, no? Maybe Z axis a little bit. Too much. Half seems to be okay. Nope. This is still too much. Oh, it's Y axis, that's the problem. We can have negative multiplier by the way. No, Y axis is okay. It's a Z axis. Okay. Ah, that's okay. That's good. So... It's almost ready. And of course we need to um, have a good topology for proper skinning. This is not about skinning, but rather making a controller. for a wing now let's actually send this to Ariel and see how we can make a controller for this wing to work properly 